Taryn, welcome back. Um, so you've had an unbelievable month, uh, you know, once in a lifetime experience. Uh, how has it all been for you? Yes, I mean, everything just happened so quickly. I mean, I'm happy to be back because I just want to get, get back going now and just try and finish the season strong. But just the whole, the whole thing was amazing. Just what an opportunity. And, you know, how did it even come about? I was, a lot of people weren't even aware you even had any sort of Tanzanian heritage. I oh, know, everyone, like everyone thinks, but my dad is from, my dad's Tanzanian. And uh, one of the other boys who play for Aldershot, uh, I messaged him, I just asked him, like, how like, can he get me involved and stuff like that. Then all of a sudden, like, the manager was, that was like six months ago, and the manager, like, he just said, he just kept tabbed on me. And then he came to one of the games against uh, uh, Hartlepool. And then from there, he just said he wants me to he wants me to come to Afcon. So I was like, happy days. You know, debut as well in a friendly. You know, get to line up against Mo Salah of all people. You know, what an experience! That's, I was actually been. saying that to one of the, to Kretsch. I was like, I was like, going played against Maidenhead, to now coming on against like Mo Salah. Like it's just everything was just like it's just mad. Like everything just happened so quickly, but like I walk in, I see Salah. I'm like so surreal, isn't it? But I mean, but when you're on the pitch. You, you don't really, you don't really think about it. Cause mm. I want to do, I want to do well as much as I just want to do well. But to see Salah and that was, was it was good. It was good. And then the tournament itself, you got to, you know, go man for man against Hakimi as well. PSG I don't even right want to. I don't even want to think about that. Give me nightmares. <laughs> man. But like, again, like I was in the tunnel. Man. I never get start, never get starstruck. But when I was in the tunnel walking out and I could see the next man, I was thinking. Like this is mad, and then singing a national anthem and everything. It was, but again, once the whistle goes, but then they're just different level, man. Just, the, just the way they play. But it's good to play in because now it's like it's made me think what I can improve on as a footballer and what I can do to. Like it's, it was amazing. It was amazing. Do you feel a better player for it coming back? Yeah, one hundred percent. Playing like training, like in high intensity with players, or literally your players are across the board of like, and even learning trying to learn the language because I mean, I'm not very good with it. I can understand a little bit, but I'm not very good with it. But just the whole thing, training in the heat makes it, makes it better. But yeah, it was, it was everything, everything was just amazing. Like, you feel like, you feel like a better player, do you know what I mean? So hopefully I can bring that back here and that's what I want to do, just bring it back here. And so I watched your second game, um, Zambia, I think it was. Yeah. And, you know, even just the coach was dripping with sweat on the sidelines. Uh, how did you adjust to the sort of climate change? To be honest, I'm, I'm, I like playing in the heat, so it, it was all right. But when I played against, when we played against Egypt, it was cool because it was at night time, it was cooler like in Egypt. So I was all right. But when I, play, when I first trained on Ivory Coast, I went, Oh, this is different type of it. But it wasn't the humid, it was, um, humidity, it was the heat what was the hard one. And I remember playing when I was playing Morocco, like we had a water break and the coach was chucking water on me. I'm thinking, that's not helping me. Like, I was yeah. just dripping, I was sweating. <laughs> Even before kickoff, I was just dripping with sweat. It was mad, it was crazy. So, and then the weather here has been pretty rubbish, so you've only missed two games. Um, which, is, which is, I mean, I take it all day long. Take that, all day is, long. Was that something that worried you? Oh, I'm going to miss a load of games and then of I might course. drop out the team because you was playing well at the time. Exactly, well. of course. You always got all the worries, but at the moment, I was just concentrated on. Listen, I was always watch. I was always looking at Worcester and hoping we win the game because this is my club. But it's. I was so focused on that. Cause I wanted to play over there. And to listen, I'm lucky. I, I actually got to play in some minutes. Um, but when I get back. I was like surprised. I'm thinking like we didn't even. I only missed two games. Well, three if you include in the Chelmsford game. But like, I only missed three games, and I mean I'm very lucky, very very lucky. So hopefully I can get back in the team and, and kick on. And what's the game with Tanzania? I think they're hosting the next tournament, aren't they? We are. Well, th so there's it's... another. There's another Afcon in Morocco, 2025, because this one was meant to be 2023, right. but it got pushed back. So 2025, and then the next one after that is in Tanzania 2027. So you say you've made your dad really proud. Is that something uh, you're looking to sort of kick on now with and, and play for Tanzania exactly, in Tanzania as well? That's, that's the aim. Obviously, I want to play as many international caps as I can for them. But the dream would be to play in Tanzania with my dad and all my, my whole family and everyone watching. That would be, like, that's, the, that's the goal. That's the goal. And, you know, a lot of change in, in the month you're off as well. We've, Change of manager yeah, here, man, with a change man. of manager in the tournament as well. Um, yeah. You know Everything what was going? Was did that? You know how do you keep focused in times like that? Say you lost two managers in the space of a week. Yeah, it's, it was tough, but 
Oh, again, I was lucky. The the boys in Tanzania were good, man. They were, they they took me under their wing. They looked after me, and even their sister manager, they were good. Like they were good. Obviously, it was an ideal because. You, we never know what could happen if the manager was still there or not. But at the end of the day, I was still managed to either go to a competition, a major competition, and be involved in it. It was still amazing. Obviously, with Stuart, Stuart and Matt, and it was listen. They, they've been a big part of my footballing journey, and they've got me. They give me an opportunity to get me to where, well, where, 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 where I went. But hopefully now under the new David, like I could just kick on now, and that's what I want to do. And Jay, it's a Great game coming up next as well. Not quite well, Afcon, but it's, yeah, it's a big derby match. Uh, listen, I, I like the big games. They're, they're my favourite, and Barnet is it's a big game to come back in. So I'm really looking forward to that one. So looking to replicate, obviously, the last match we had with it. Yes, but by this time, let's not concede two goals, man. Make it hard for ourselves, man. Let's win the game <laughs> easy. Perfect. Thanks a lot for your time, Tyler. Cheers welcome, and welcome back. You're Cheers. welcome. Thank you.